Welcome in everyone, where we are a little bit early, as you can tell, in fact, uh, two minutes and 40 seconds early, how good's that? As we head into the DVO 1v1 event for April, this is the first 1v1 event that we have done for quite a long time. It has been so long since we've done a 1v1 event, I'm so keen to get back into it. Remember casting the last one, it was so much fun. Oh, it's just, 1v1 events are just such a good time. Now, as we have today, we have eight players, and we will have seed one to eight playing for the tournament win, where the winner, sorry, winner will walk away with $50. But we will start with our first game, which will be seed one versus seed eight. We'll have Sen on the winner's seed versus Uga on the eighth seed. With Sen winning the coin favor, we will start with Trapper, Wraith, and then the tiebreaker will be Bubba. But to start, the game, I should introduce my fellow caster. Uh, Looney, how are we doing, man? Oh, thank you, Stasi. I'm doing great. I'm really excited. And the greatest thing, this 1v1 starting, a trapper of all things to start off. How good. But, you know, we've got Sen v Uga, two teammates from 2 Savage. You know, they play together every day. Here we are facing off in our first 1v1 event with only one of them to continue. And... We're playing nice and safe, running into the middle of suffocation here. Probably just gonna, yep, break the pallets. Using those check spots nicely. Well done, Uga. Nice safe. Oh, nearly fell for a bit of a, a sneaky mind game there, and Sense kind of lost him, and Uga does just break off back to five here. Yeah, it looks like we're getting a lot of free distance here. We have seen Uga though, so we will keep the timer going as we get to go back towards the clock tower. We have a ton of vision here as well around this water tower, sorry, as we're just going to circle around this. This is so free for us, just extra time. And we can easily make it back to Shack as well. We still have Lithe available. We can go in through the long side. Looks like that's what we're going to do here. We're actually opting to go to the edge map villa instead. We're going to try and zone uh, Sen out to the outside, but yeah, definitely not going to allow that to happen. We won't be able to make it back to Shack, but we still have Lithe at this TNL. We are still in a very, very strong position as we see a uh, Bamboozle Vault coming in from Sen. It looks like we're going to try and Lithe back into the map. We do see the Vault coming through. We're seeing the Double Vault, actually. Are we going to see the Triple? We're not. We just see a little uh, hit there. And it looks like we're going to all get a little bit mind gamed here. We will be taking a hit, but we can use it to get to top here. We are still going to have a very, very decent chase here. We're just going to have to see if we can get that overdrive distance so that we can use the top side effectively. And it looks like we have a pretty decent window here as well. Yeah, minute 40 into the chase. Doing really well. Now he's at main building. He uses his life finally. And heading over to one... And you can see with that windows value, there is a lot of pallets around here. You can really make this chase go on for a long time. Then just trying something, see if Uga can fall for it. But no, Uga's just check spotting beautifully. Drops a pallet, decides not to break. Stevie might be able to bloodlust here to get the down. But Uga is playing this outstanding so far. Just check spotting everything perfectly. Nothing Sen can do. And swings, but no! can't get it and that means Uga is going to run away and get a lot of distance and time. Yeah, this is great because we still have Shaq as well. We still have a lot of the bottom map that is open to us. Uh, if we can head our way down, we'll be in a really strong position. Looks like we do get the Bamboozle Vault here, but we are going to make this long wall here. We do have this yucky little almond filler available to us, but we directly just get away from it. We don't even want to deal with that. Looks like we head to a more favorable filler. I do believe is this a no. Okay, so we do head to another filler here. Looks like we're just going to insta break. See if we can make it towards main. We still have this pallet down able to help us here. Our live is halfway back, but it looks like we might get a little bit done here. We go for the medium vault, unable to do it. Still a really strong chase. Three minutes and two seconds. That is very textbook. Windows, though. Very interesting choice. Oh, there's a skin. Oh, that's not it, bro. That is not it. I don't like that. Nah, that's not vibing with me. Anyway, it looks like we're going to be taking the chase towards Water Tower. Are we going to head all the way around? Looks like we are. Not going to be able to mind game that. And as you're right, we do see the alert over the windows instead. Could be very useful at fillers that have a lot of blocked sight lines. So we'll see what we can do there. Looks like we're going to be holding the checkies here. We'll go try and do some wacky plays here, but we're not going to be able to make it pay off. We do have light here. Can we make it to mid? We opt to stay at the filler here, 
looks like we are going to be taking a relatively early hit unless we have a pallet right here we don't this is a little bit of a problem we do give a relatively early hit compared to last chase compared to the minute 30 we will be giving the hit 40 seconds in but we have a really nice main here as we have the uh, window coming in from the inside of the map and also another one on the 12 we'll probably see another filler here as well that we're going to insta drop no we don't decide to insta drop the main filler looks like we're going to go for the god filler at uh, 11 instead as we're going to try and take this chase out with some pristine checkies yeah, and Ugu just decided to break. Try and see if we can zone him around here with no pallets, but no, Sen does have an extra pallet just at uh, the top here. So he's still playing around that. Ugu trying some fancy mind games. Not going to get Sen on that. Can't get the stun either. No smash hit allowed, just a reminder. And Sen thinking he was going to mind game himself, but I think he's... Oh, he got, no, he does have another filler here. He's got a lot of, lot of pallets in this corner. Even without windows, he just knows where they all are. That alert coming in healthy. I think he's kind of out of luck here. There's there's nothing left in this corner. I think he's going to go down unless you can somehow juice him. And he, he might get to the pallet. No, he doesn't, unfortunately. No, he does. No, he, uh, he doesn't. And yeah, yeah that's just <laughs> 150. Right, so... See how he goes, and Ulga run cloaking. That's how you need to start it. And there's the bag, ready to go. Off we go, and let's see how Sen starts off this set. Running down to our nice filler tile here. Playing it against the uh, uncloaked version. He will get another loop around this, be able to get the pallet down in time. But no, I thought he was going to greed, but no. He plays it nice and safe, and he'll make it all the way back to Shaq now and continue that chase. Yeah, it looks like we get back to Shack 3. We'll get the slow vault here. Gonna see the insta vault. Now, is that our boozle? I can't quite see. It looks like we're gonna try and opt to get sent away from this god filler, but definitely not gonna be able to work. Ooh, we actually go for a bit of a live play here as we try to make it inside the map. We're not gonna be able to make it, so we just decide to head back. Definitely the right call there. But still, bought a little bit of time from our life and gaming as we tried to see the uncloak happen there, and we do get to this sea wall. We are able to zone or grow away from that, and it looks like we are going to try and fast fold over this. We haven't seen the pallet break there. It comes now, and we're able to make it back towards mid as well. We do have a decent filler here. Yeah, we are cooking up now just over a minute, so very good start from Sen on the survivor side. We just seem to be just breaking pallets this whole time, and Sen just going from pallet to pallet, and he hasn't even gone to main building yet, but as I speak of that, that is not where he's heading. He's heading to one instead. Yeah, with the uh, Wraith power, it's going to be very, very irritating to get away from the main building as he's so, so fast. But it looks like we do see the car play here. going to be a little bit difficult to get away from this unless we get a pallet stun. Looks like that's not what we're going to get. We will be receiving a hit instead. But we are able to get to the top of main here as we're likely going to see an uncloak coming through. Yes, we do. As we're heading towards 12, we're going to try and zone ourselves back towards 1, see if we can get to a better situation. We do have a vault available to us here, and we're just trying to stick away from this boozle here. As we see the uncloak finally coming through, we're going to try and head back towards 2. We do have a decent vault here into this filler, uh, this jungle gym, sorry, and we're able to head back towards 1. We're chaining very well. Yeah, if he was able to do this before he um, got injured, he really could have extended this time. So now that he's injured, he's absolutely cooking around this 1, 2 and a little bit of the front main area. He's finally realized these windows just link to each other so nicely. He's just running back and forth and just adding time right now. And he's back on this pallet that he's had where he got his first hit. No, he fakes it, gets to the main window. Then that boozer will come in and he's kind of now stuck at this tile. Throws down the pallet, vault, double vault, he's trying to play the check spots. We're good, trying to get something, can he get the oh, swing on him? It? Oh, he swings, oh, no. he misses, no! Oh, that is just truly rough, and it looks like we see... Oh no, that's the perfectly timed <laughs> There's no way! That's truly terrible, it looks like we are going to be able to get away from the situation. We can make it back towards one as well, the filler on one, as we just make so much value here from that little bamboozle vault. That is truly terrible. He had his timing down packed as we do finally see the down coming through. That was three minutes and 12 seconds. It was looking to be much worse than that at one point. 
having a little quick scout around, as we said. He's got that minute to have a look around, but Uga doesn't need a minute. He just He's ready to go. He knows what he needs to do. 3 minutes 12. He knows how to play this. He sees all those pallets with windows. He knows what to do. So let's see what he can do. It looks like we do make it to an eye filly here. I do believe we are going to make it all the way around. We're trying to cut Uga away. Looks like we've done a gr almost a great job. We... Uh, predicted the uh, lithe brain vault did not end up occurring. We will be able to use it here. It might get us too much value. We can't get away from the eye filler, but we do still have the uh, cloak currently happening, so we won't get too much value out of it. Looks like we're stuck at this card tile as well. We're going to need to try and get a stun here to see if we can get away, as the main building is a little bit far away. Looks like we decided to leave very, very early. Thought that it was a bit closer than it was, I would assume, and we're not able to make it towards uh, two there without receiving the hit. And it looks like we are back at this eye filler. Ooh. He, oh, he's cut him off. This is not good. And that's all good down at a minute. Starting the chase on the top side, we're choosing the pallet side as well. And chase is on. We are two, minutes, uh, two seconds in. Let's see what we head to. We've decided to opt for eight here as we see this uh, yeah, this really strong car tile here. We don't drop straight away. We head towards the seawall at the bottom of the map. Hopefully we can zone send, but I don't think he's going to allow us to do that as we will be yeah, dropping this oh, straight away. Oh, I got, got a bit, well, got a bit, little bit worried there, but really well played by Uga being able to get the stun. As we're heading back up towards eight as well, looks like we can even get a bit further. We can make our way up towards the strong filler at nine. We have a window here as well that leads into uh, that jungle gym there. So this will be really nice for us. And it looks like that's what we're going to take as well. This is a pretty strong setup, actually, until this pallet is dropped. So going to have to get rid of this as soon as we can. Looks like we're going to see if we can uh, play him here with the M1. We can't, and it lets us get directly down to 8 again as we try to play him at this car tile. Yeah, you're just going to have to get rid of that as soon as possible. We can head back to this nice little filler into the window here. If he comes around the tire side, it'll definitely allow us to get a lot of distance here. Uh, sorry, a lot of time here for free, should I say, as we get away from matchsticks. We're every, even heading up towards 11. And, oh, Ogre's lost him a little bit in here, and he gets a little bit of distance, which adds that extra time, and he gets straight back to Shaq. Goes around the long side. He might opt to go through it, and he sees that the Bubba's bamboozling it. Double bamboozle. You don't see a triple, that means he will have to throw Shaq here. He does opt to just insta throw that, and then we go straight back to all these tiles here at uh, 9. You can see what he can do. He does link it up again with this uh, matchstick. He knows he's got all these pallets here. He can nearly go on forever this whole game. Yeah, usually those matchsticks are pretty average, but they do, uh, at least in the position they're in currently right now, they do lead into a lot of fillers that just kind of support it. Uh, matchsticks can be decent, but they need to be really supported by the things that are around it. And usually it's not the case, but this game, they've definitely had some really strong placements for that. And it looks like we are going to be running up the hill here, actually. Insta-dropping, trying to see if we can get back to main here as we will ooh, not be taking the M1. Looks like we're just able to get away from that. Two minutes, 30 seconds in, and we're just able to step away from Shaq without getting hit there. Very nice. We've got a window to the side of the map. We'll be heading towards two as we've got another filler here as well. This is very, very strong for us. Having those fillers supported by the windows on the side is just giving us so much value. Yeah, and he's, he's got a lot of these tiles. That just oh, he's got the... He might have caught out. This could be the end. Does he make the vault? He does! What? Oh my god, Uga! No, and a tantrum from Sen. That will add time, that will add distance, and Uga's safe, and he decides to run back to Shaq, see if he can get to these nine tile again. Oh, the patience on Uga right now. The patience. He takes the M1, which is just going to extend the chase even further. Yeah, with how he's been playing, you can definitely afford to give an M1 there. As long as you don't give the chainsaw, you're absolutely fine. Giving an M1, giving him that extra time, really not something you're too concerned about. Also, as we make it back towards 8 again, we've got this nice filler into the uh, matchstick tile, but we're going to drop it instantly this time, as we don't want to be risking giving the M1, because it's all that Sen is looking for now. We go for the insta-vault, doesn't end up working in our favour. 
but a really strong chase of 3 minutes and 39 seconds. A lot to do to prove why he started at that, that rank. Yep, and, and, um, we are all. A... <laughs> and then the background looks like we'll be heading back towards 11. We did a bit of a shorter check this time, uh, and it looks like we are going to be heading straight towards this tractor. Oh, this is definitely free time for us here. As we see, Ugo tries to actually come around the long side there. Uh, Sen definitely using the gap between the tractor and the bottom to uh, get some extra chase distance there. As we make it back towards... Uh, ooh, we make it back towards Shaq here. Is able to make it all the way around, but light will give us the distance there. As we try and get our light back, we are going to be trying to walk a little bit here, but won't be able to make it work. As we go for a slow vault here, is able to make it work and heads back up towards 11. Yeah, and he's just got this pallet gym here. He, oh. he try and go for the stun, being a bit greedy, but no, can't get the stun. Let's have another filler here at, at uh, 9. Uga really playing around with that chainsaw, trying to force him to uh, drop those pallets, waste them a lot. No, he does. He's just got a lot of fillers here. Will he be able to get an M1? No, he pulls out the chainsaw, trying to oh, play that game, get the pallets out of the way. He's a greedy Sen. boy. He, oh, he swings and misses. Set is very greedy. He's just absolutely taking Uga for a run right now. He's got a three minutes and what was it? Three minutes and thirty-nine to beat. So he's got a yeah, long way to go. Got over I will... two minutes left. That was a very nice pallet drop. I will say I like this RNG a little bit less than I liked Ugas. Feels like we do have a lot of like very strong fillers, but it definitely feels like those fillers lead into less of the map. They're just kind of standalone. So if you're not able to get the stun, you're in a very awkward position. As we're gonna head back up towards Shank here. No, we upstayed this filler here. We will get the fast fold off. Very nice. No shame going for that swing as we are going to make, be able to make it back towards this window here with the fast fall. We'll be seeing the instant drop and I don't believe we will be seeing the pallet drop. Looks like we're going to try and head back towards uh, this filler that we were just recently at. We have a very another, uh, we have another strong filler here as well. This car filler definitely helping us out and we have a, a uh, we have a window that leads directly into it as well. And we also have Shaq to support it. This is actually very strong. Looks like Sen has found his groove as we found really uh, three strong standalones that lead directly into each other. This is very nice. Yeah, but he started to, I think he started to get a little bit of bloodlust so he did have to end up throwing one of those pallets, get rid of it. He does go take the chase back to this shack. He's just been running back and forth between these two tiles. May opt to throw the shack at distance. Yes, he does. Great work. He opt might opt here to run all the way down to 11 to our crane to get some really big distance and big time. But as you see from windows, yeah, he's trying to look around, see what he's got after this. Because after this, he doesn't have a whole lot close by. He's got a long way to go to the next tile. Yeah, interesting that we're deciding to play this out. We are trying to see whether we can make it work with the 40 seconds we still have to go. Uh, looks like, oh, it's going to be a little bit awkward. He's going to be directly behind us. We got no done there. And we will be trying. Looks like we're going to be giving an M1. This is exactly what we want. We can probably make it to bottom. We could have made it to bottom if we didn't get the stun. But we're not going to be doing that now. We're going to be watching for bamboos. We're watching the checkies. And it looks like we will be trying to get away here. We only have 10 seconds to go. We pretty much run in a straight line. We should be there as long as we have any window or filler here. And it looks like that's exactly what we have. We do have a window. And that is the win for Sen. 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Extremely well played by both players. And Sen just being able to pop off. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let him cook a little bit longer. See what he can get up to. He might end up here. He's going down now at 354 but he does take the first w the two savage versus two savage team members uga v sen sen moving through uga thank you for playing but that is goodbye And effectively, we might be in a really good position. If being able to stop those vault notifications from coming in will be uh, definitely uh, beneficial to us. Looks like we're going to be heading straight towards 5 as we find the C. We're going to try and be holding W all the way up as long as we can before we're forced not to. We do have our second blink available to us. Enter order in a little bit of an awkward position. We are going to be able to make it down towards the seawall. 
but not going to be able to break line of sight like this. We'll be giving a relatively early hit. We do have Lion and Quick Guide available to us. We are seen making the vault. Looks like we try and do some wacky maneuvers around it. Are able to avoid that second quick hit coming through with the uh, good usage of Lion. There's Quick and Quiet slowly coming back up. Going to try and use the hill. Insta going down, sadly, though. Uh, Nu did win the coin favor on this one, so this was his pick. This live, see if we can hold W to top, and just really, we just need to hold W the entire time here. I would say that could probably get us 40 seconds as we start. Yeah, he's probably going to use his life really early, just get all the way down to one, just waste a lot of the time. See that time just ticking down, 38's all he's got to beat nearly even halfway there that's how crazy that is yeah andrew's kind of lost him i don't see the nurse anywhere he might be just kind of making his way down new just getting all the way to main already nearly clocking at 30 seconds i think this might be done and dusted don't even see andrew in the distance he's just in a locker he's trying to tell him where he is and uh i do think that's game set and match there yeah, it looks like we still can't hear him as well after the uh, noise notification. We'll be seeing, yeah, we will be seeing the timer stop as it's been a very long time since Nu's actually been in chase. Andrew uh, struggling to find Nu. Here we go. We finally find him. Looks like we were about to outplay him there, but unable to get the second blink onto Nu here. We'll be heading back up towards the hill. As long as we can follow these scratch marks, we'll be in a much better position to keep the chase going. Do find him at this edge map here. Seeing if we can get our second blink black while we can see him. This will be very good for us here as we get the first hit at a minute and five seconds. As we're going to try and head back towards main here. See if we can get a bit of a, a, bit of a wacky chase going. But no, we'll be going down at a minute 12. Alert. You can be in a really good position to avoid those second, uh, that second rush from the Wesker because he is going to be able to make that distance very well. So being able to use alert to get yourself in a good position that you wouldn't otherwise be in, it, it can just be such a boon. Looks like we are going to be stuck this TNL here, trying to get away from Andrew. We do have this filler here, unsure. We can make it as we head towards uh, two here, seeing if we can drag out the chase. Are we going to see the two tap come out from Andrew? We aren't. Seven seconds in, still this filler. Gonna try and get some live value probably to head towards top here, I would assume. That's definitely the case. We actually stayed the filler though, unable to make that second uh, rush there. And we will be seeing alert coming in here, not really giving us too much value this time, but still will be seeing it come through. Yeah, and we saw that Shaq go down preemptively at the start. So, you know, he will be able to use that, waste a little bit more time. And Andrew just misses that hit. No sneaking away. Does he have a filler in this corner? He does, luckily enough. Obviously, the killer is allowed. Bam uh, not bamboozle, sorry. Brutal. So they're using Brutal. Obviously, it's very strong on Wesker. So Andrew just trying to zone him back up to the uh, Shacky area. And he will be able to get the first hit. No, not just yet. Maybe be able to M1. No, mind games him at the door. Does vault. No bamboozle. Yeah, looks like we'll be dragging this out a little bit longer. We get the... Uh, oh, we do see Nu not throw an edge map, but is thrown to the bottom as we have used a lot of resources down here. Andrew probably hoping he can catch up. We do see the infection meter will be coming through now. And we see the insta second hit coming through. That was a minute and 36 seconds. non pallet side, which would be interesting. But... Uh, we have seen basically every chase star from the palace side. Looks like we do start from here. We have an eye filler that will help us out. I'm gonna try and lie towards top at some point, but won't be happening just yet as we do see the drop coming through on the filler. We'll be heading straight towards seven here as we try to just drag this chase out as long as possible. We do need to beat uh, news previous time. Now I've got to say the RNG here for Andrew is is a lot better than then new had it uh his shack area he's got a lot of pallets just lurking in this area a lot of fillers and we did see that tile new having a little swing but andrew not falling for it he's got a lot of tiles kind of at that five area where he can just play around he's got these pallets here Even if he zones him he's still got shack he's just playing safe he tries to corner attack him but not gonna happen 
gonna have to take that hit, run to Shaq, and probably preemptively drop that early. Yes, he does have to. Yeah, look, oh, okay, it looks like we get a little bit too close to that window there. We do have a decent filly here if we can make it. We do have life still available to us at the edge map here. We're gonna have to see if we can try and outplay Andrew with a little mind game. Looks like we're not gonna be able to make that work. I don't think we're gonna be seeing the vault here. No, we don't. We can make it towards seven. This is gonna be quite close on whether we can actually beat uh, Nu's time here as we get to a minute 20, but looks like he is gonna miss. We can definitely drag this out for a long, long time here as we make it towards this villa. And this is looking very, very comfortable for Andrew. Uh, being able to play Wesker very heavily, definitely supporting. Oh, and we see a minute 35 chase. Uh, that was really close. I'm not exactly sure what the most recent time was. He definitely played really solid. He um, definitely likes to check out his RNG. So <laughs> very, uh, very interesting to see what he'll be able to do at the start. But looks like I'm going to see Midgey at the start. And we will be taking our first couple of seconds of the chase as we're going to be able to use Shaq here. Looks like we'll be taking an insta -ball, heading up towards the top side as we go taking the chase towards one. And he's just patiently waiting for him here and it kind of did just bamboozle the, the Shaq for no reason. Gave Andrew, a, I mean Michi, a lot of time. And you know, Michi talks a big game. We do have that big game tomorrow night with the uh, two Savage Reversing our old timers revolution. Midgey's talked a big smack game about Green Machine. So, you know, he's got to pull out something good tonight to really prove to uh, the haters that he's ready to cook tomorrow night. But he does take that first hit at 40 odd, 5 seconds, 46 seconds. Austin not dropped that shack. I don't know if I can make it back around. Yeah, it looks like we're trying to use. Oh, we're trying to use the. Uh, the uh, generator in the sorry your mic's going a bit wacky trying to use the generator in the middle to get a bit of defense actually ends up working in our favor we are able to get the vault away as we are slowly getting live back able to finally drop that pallet in a much less positive position for the lift there as we have reached a minute and 20 seconds we do get towards this villa in shallow six as we will probably be taking the insta drop yes we will as we see lith on the power unable to make that six window there alert not giving us too much value but we find another very strong filler at the seventh side and very nicely played there being able to uh drop the pallet as soon as lith drops power gives us just a tiny bit of distance but everything will end up adding up here every second counts as we reach a minute 45 on the demogorgon looks like we didn't see lith come around we're in a little bit of an awkward situation here but we're able to make it towards the bottom of this seawall as we see Lith coming out with the power probably will be taking oh we saw the miss onto Lith hit the wall there little bit of an awkward positioning but we just don't make this pallet and the chase will end on a very strong two minutes and four seconds he's ready oh, he's changing sides he didn't like that side does maybe he wants to scout out this side first no he's ready to begin here we go it looks like we are going to be using this uh windows at the side of shack see if we can get some good value do have life available to us we actually opt to drop shack straight away and we do have a low available to us as well we're heading up towards 12 we didn't actually check this side of the map and we do have a seawall that will be helping us here looks like we're going to try and uh, i'll play midgey here we are able to get away from 12 without giving a free hit. We do have a window at the bottom. Oh, no, we don't have a window at the bottom of this, actually. It's at the top. And we used live here, but does not end up working in our favor as we head towards bottom. We're going to have to survive a minute and 30 seconds uh, with just one health state available to us as we do insta-break that this pallet. And it looks like not checking 12 is actually a little bit detrimental to us as we are going to be giving a relatively early down here at 51 seconds. And I hope that you all get into it as well, because I definitely think it's very worth doing. But looks like we'll be taking the next chase. Uh, Lith on the Survivor will be running towards six, as we've got a filler right here. And looks like um, Midgey's got a little bit of the blight plug right now, where he's kind of like gliding along. <laughs> does kind of look kind of funny. And Lith does take that early hit, 19 seconds in. 
and the, the bug is still going. It does look very, very odd. He's bouncing with it, but and that will be the quick down. 27 seconds into it. And, yeah, we'll swap sides, and Midgey Survivor's got 27 seconds to beat. Everyone, welcome back as we see Midgey on the Survivor here. Now, we did uh, see a bit of a bug there, but it did not affect the gameplay. It just affected the spectator. So, okay. Uh, only affected <laughs> spectator. So, okay. Guess we're going to have another one as well. Uh, we'll be having quite a few of these today. As we reach 10 seconds of the chase, Lith is going to need to absolutely pop off here to get the down onto Midgey. But it looks like we are going to be taking a relatively early hit. But with all those stacks gone, probably won't be able to secure the 27 uh, second chase there as we reach 27 seconds now. Really well played by Midgey being able to drag that out. But hopefully we can go for a bit longer. Hopefully we can go for maybe a couple of minutes. Oh, almost got him, but not able to secure the second quick hit at six here. We'll be trying to take the chase back towards Shaq if we can, but we have used this resource. Or the only thing we have available to us is this window. We go for the fake here. Ends up working out, and we see oh, the uh, uh, one rush coming around, but does not end up working in Lit's favor. And Mitri just trying to... Oh, <laughs> oh no. He just He's just showing off his skills right now at the Shaq with no pallet. He's going for a slow vault. Doesn't get away with it, but you know, that will be the victory to Midgey with a time of one minute and ten seconds. Let's see what the Mast One has up for install. We've got Nefarious here on our survivors, chosen life, and window is pretty staple choice whether you choose alert or not. Telling Dan you go the other side. I want to cook from over here. And we do see the first bag. Off we go. Time is going. They're not opting to go through Shaq. Kind of bounding straight away. Monk, I mean, Natharius throwing that pallet down instantly, running back to Shaq. See what he can do, where he might use a life. No, he's going to the pallet. He's going to throw that down. Get some distance. Head over to five. He's got some matchsticks, so he's going to have to try and get out of this area. And trying to zone him back to Shaq. So really well done. Natharius reading that zone, heading back. He's still got that life. Getting down into our pallet here at kind of the, the bottom seven, six area. Do you have Lyth available to us here? Able to make it back towards Shaq here. We'll be playing very, very well on the bottom side. Hoping at some point that we can make it towards top strike of this chase, but not in, ending up working in our favor just yet, as we have this hill on four, which is just in the way as it is. Don't want to be dealing with that. We do see the uh, power drop from uh, Dan there. We'll be taking the M1 here as we do make it towards top here. We are finally being able to make it towards up there. Hopefully we have some access to more resources. We do have this filler in top mid shallow 10, so we are going to be able to use that as we try and drag the chase as long as possible. It's going to be important not to get stunned here. Don't want to give Nefarious any more distance than he's already got. Looks like we'll be likely going for the power here. No, we do go for it now, but we've been zoned away. And we will be taking the chase at a minute and 22 seconds. Not helpful as well, because he obviously doesn't have balance using that life. It seems to be the, the way of choices, but he is running towards that mound, interesting enough. It could have been very strong if we had uh, the uh, pallet on the other side, but we'll be making it all the way up to this seawall here at 9, heading straight back down as well. We do have the filler at 8 available to us, but it is standalone, so it's going to be very difficult to get away from this without giving a hit, but regardless, still have the filler uh, to our usage. Are going to take the drop. Can we make it towards 7 without getting hit? Looks like we are going to be able to make it. It's going to be close, but we're stuck around the tree. We may be giving the hit here. It's going to be close. We do, only just as we head back towards Shaq here, we'll be using 6 and going to be taking the insta vault there but it looks like dan will be able to make it towards this window that leads towards three here we do have another filler uh we do have our god filler and the window that leads back towards five but it looks like we will be getting the stun there which will be giving us a little bit of extra distance that's exactly what we need here as we go for a very quick vault there we'll be able to use the window that leads towards two as well matchsticks here not too strong by themselves but at least leads into a decent tile that supports it as we go for a very quick vault here onto the Oh, we run into the generator there. A little bit awkward as we 
anticipate the uh, power coming in through from Nefarious, but able to keep on dragging this out. And it looks like we've actually just made the time as well. A minute 22 was able to buy out just enough time to win the set. Really well played by Dan. The pallet side, and we see Ugo probably uh, getting his own uh, time already, just in case. Definitely Nefarious, fair Nefarious enough. Nefarious oh, Nefarious. oh yeah, yep, that's what I said. That is what I said. Nefarious, I did say that. Poor so Ugo's we'll already be... been uh, <laughs> been left out by Sen, so you know, don't want to don't want to say anymore. No, you know, I read his got, name in chat. He's got other things to do sorry. tonight. Remember, he's got other things to name. do. I, I'm sorry, I read his name in chat. I lost it. I'm sorry. Yeah, we do see the chase going here. And playing very well, does drop the pallets. The is trying to play around and probably break it. No fakes the break. But he's got able to link another tile in here and just pre-drops that one down. The forest may opt to break this one though. He now has his uh, overcharge ready. The yes. speedy hillbilly ready to go. And he bamboozles the window. Won't be able to get the saw on him just yet. Uses the life to get away from that area. Can't jump through the shack, I mean, through the hatch just yet. Yeah, it's zoned to a, it was zoned to a little bit of an uh, awkward part of the map, but was able to get out of there with Lithe. Really well played. That's exactly what Lithe is used for, and being able to just get out of those awkward situations. Very textbook usage there, as we're going to try and play around this car tile here. Able to make that work, Dan, at a minute 12 seconds now, playing very, very well. Ops not to drop this pallet. Might be seeing a down come through here. We do, as we... Finish on a minute and 16. We'll be finishing round one. So we do see Nefarious checking his RNG just a little bit quickly, possibly changing the sound settings. And we start the chase and looks like our timer isn't started. There we go. <laughs> the timer's <laughs> asleep, unfortunately. We are, uh, I think it was roughly about four or five seconds added onto that time. That is about right. Hopefully it's a clear difference so it doesn't... Oh, looks like we do see Lithe coming through. He is able to get away from a little bit of an awkward situation here. Dan hoping to get the outplay as he forces Nefarious on the outside of this tile here. We'll be going for a... We'll be going for the hit here on the M2. Not able to make it work though. Nefarious is finally able to make it to some resources here. That was looking very, very awkward for a little bit. Able to make it away from this uh, very below average part of the map. We're trying to head back towards a filler that's quite a distance away. Can we zone him away from this filler? We do have the hook to kind of help protect us, but we end up missing anyway. And we up to 48 seconds now. We do have a main available to us. And it looks like we opt not to use it, although we don't have balanced. Yeah, kind of using a non-balanced balance and try maybe take an M1 here to add time, but Dan just not taking it. We're getting really close, and I do think now with our added five seconds, he has actually reached time, and oh. and just he sees as usual. Deciding whether he wants to run to the top or to the bottom of the map, and he's going to take the sh the uh, pallet side. Now time has begun, so let's see how he plays on Survivor. I have some sneaky mind games by, by Dan around the shack, but Nefarious staying awake. Gets to this filler tile here, see what he can link it up with. See how Dan plays around it. Doesn't need to greet it, just instantly drops it. See if he can make another tile, try and link them together. And nice and safe. It looks like we instantly just tried to drop that 7 pallet. We'll be doing a crouch tech there, able to avoid the free hit coming through. Nefarious able to buy a lot of extra time here. He may still be receiving the hit, but is able to at least get to a more favorable part of the map. We do see an edge filler here. We'll be taking the hit as we go up past the hill, trying to get as high as possible, even make our way back towards Shank, which will be very, very safe for us. Still have access to life as well, so we definitely need to make sure we get some free usage out of that as we go for a free break. No, we do now. Now, as we see, Nefarious is able to make it towards this truck here, going for the Insta Vault a little bit early there, uh, but definitely understand because we don't want to be giving the free hit due to power down, and we actually go for it on the second time. Looks like we're stuck in a pretty awkward position here. We don't really have anything else. 
trying to just avoid uh, the free hit here. And we go for the slow vault. Does not end up working in our favor, though. We've only got the seed vault. We'll be taking the down at a minute 26. Going to re swap, probably just trying to play mind games on Nefarious, trying to, you know, get him off his game. And there we go, the start. He needs to get to 126. Let's see how he goes. It looks like we're not opting to drop this pallet here. We can easily get around it as we've definitely gone around the right, right way because the demo can't really break it for free with his power. He has to get right on top of it with the angle. This is much better than coming in from the other side of Shack. And it looks like we are heading towards this uh, vault here. Oh, very nice fast vault there coming in from Dan. Is able to just camp this filler. It needs another minute on the chase timer to see whether we can drag this out. Is trying to use the corners as best as possible. We do see, uh, ooh, we do see Nefarious coming out from the wrong side here. Does end up working out in our favor though. Uh, catches Dan a little bit off guard, but he was able to sit at the filler, was ready for it. And we're heading straight back down towards this top mid filler. Yeah, and he's really been able to link a few of these tiles together, which is just adding time right now. He hasn't been able to take a hit yet, which is very good for him. And now he's finally lost the 50-50 and be able to get that first hit at just over a minute. So Nefarious has under 20 seconds now to get that down. Otherwise, he is going home empty-handed. Yeah, that is exactly right. Both fighting for that round two spot. This could be close. 10 seconds coming in now. It's getting close. Looks like we go for the hit. It does not end up working out in our favor, though. And it looks like Dan will be winning this one as we reach a minute 26. Well played by Dan. Able to make it to round two. The greed ended up paying off the first time as we're going to try and outplay him here. See if we can still get a decent chase time. Keep it under two minutes as we go for an insta vault here. We're going for the double triple vault. And we will be going down at a minute 42 seconds. Really well played by Dan. With that, we'll finish off round one as Dan will move on to the semifinals to face Midji off in match six. Yeah, I was really hoping someone might be balanced, but you know, we're pushing the semifinals. No one's going to risk it, are they? They're going to take the safety option of that life. Yeah, he's taking that outskirts. We know that he can make it around another time before he does need to drop the shack. He might not even decide to drop the shack. He might just go to the filler. Yep, exactly. I'm reading Sen right now. I know exactly how he's going to play. Reading this, he might drop it. No, he grades it again. Oh, he does take that early hit because of the extra greed. This could cost Sen now. He does have to drop shack. Yeah, definitely well played by uh, New there, being able to get that hit. A little bit greedy by Sen, but still, we do have a health state. We can play this out. We still have Lyth available to us as well. We have kind of had to drop the pallets a little bit more liberally now, as we don't have access to our uh, healthy state, as we are going to be making it to this filler up top. It was very, very close, but wasn't able to secure that hit as we'll be trying to just run around this tie here, hoping it can stop the free hit from coming through. We'll be seeing the down here from that pallet and try and make our way back towards uh, the bottom of the map here. And he uses that life. Dude did read that he's going to use a life, but still gets lots of distance and does make it to all these other side of the map where there's now all the resources, because obviously he's used those resources where he was looping before. Playing it safe around the pallets. New trying some fancy mind games. Send greeting slightly. Does have to drop it, but he does see the other filler that's at the edge here. Playing around it. Hopefully he doesn't greet it like last time and takes that down. New trying some fancy flick arounds. Looks like we are able to drop this at seven pallet here. See if we can just buy as much time as we possibly can. Will not be taking the vault. Very nice fake there by Nu. Will be going down at a minute 42 seconds. Very, very solid time. To check out this six RNG. It has to check it out a little bit more effectively. As windows available to us but we will be starting this chase looks like we're going uh, back around send going for a little bit of a fake there do see the red stain on the windows there and we will be able to make it around this wall here are we going to go no we definitely drop it the right way this is the way we want to drop it make sure that we have as much value as possible we see him not going for the vaults they're going to be heading towards bottom here as we see another filler at five that we can use Oh. Being very, very greedy, boy. Oh, vaulting into him with the life and does get hit. 
he's wasted his life. This could be the downfall for Nu right now. And Sen, yeah, just zoning him. He's only got this really edge map tile. We've seen people juice up on this tile before, but maybe it's not. Oh, he does get him around. It's a bit of time. He does probably have enough time to get to six. And I do think Nu will eventually go down here. Yes, he does. In 54 seconds, that is not going to be enough for the victory. Sen leading 1-0. I, I really wouldn't want it either, but you know, we, we, we'll get a we'll, we'll get to a point where they should take it. I feel it. I, I feel the balance. It's coming. I'd I'd love to see a, a balanced jumping down into the basement in Shack. That would be absolutely oh. brilliant. And kind of new misplaying there, and I think he's going to get the early hit right now, which is definitely not ideal. Yeah, this is a rut row team moment. This is definitely not what you want to see. Giving that first early hit. Now this is setting the win con, so we will be seeing Nu going back around Water Tower again. Uh, didn't end up working out the first time. Goes for it the second time. Okay, we do see the trapper coming out. He's a little bit closer than he should be, but we are fine here to make it to another fill. Looks like we're going around Water Tower again. Seeing if we can get to a filler god map, this is going to be a problem because this filler does not lead into too much. We know that there's nothing really between Shaq and this filler here. We're going to have to use the checkies to try and get a good chase here. Got to get at least above a minute. Looks like we do secure that though. Will be playing a little bit greedy. Is able to vacuum back into it though. We are stuck in a bit of an awkward position here. Trying to use the checkies, but looks like we are going to be going down here at a minute and 11 seconds. straight away hasn't even looked at the map just kind of just doing his thing ready to go it looks like we'll be starting this chase at six here we'll be heading up seeing if we can get some water tower value will give us a solid 20 seconds if we're able to get back to shack here we also have lithe to get us back into top mid looks like that is exactly what we're doing but we go for a filler instead definitely the right play here as we have a nice spot mid filler that we will be able to use to our advantage trying to mind game send here but not really going to be able to do that when you can constantly see the killer that's right we are breaking it again we're heading back to water tower looks like we're going to be using it again possibly we'll be heading back to shack here seeing if we can get some value out of that as we are heading this right side looks like we don't go for the vault we're going to try and see if we can get our vault back into middle here looks like that's exactly what we're going to do we try and mind game him, but does not end up working out as he does have live can play that very very easily and we do see the boozle coming through yeah and he's pretty close to this wing con already he hasn't been hit so i do think sen probably should take it from here so we're going to see some stylish gameplay right now from both our survivor and killer see what they can both hook up and the window's just unblocked very lucky for sen it's like that Doesn't game we had a coal tower when that window opened up for him perfectly he just knows that's right i can definitely count the seconds uh to just get as much value as you possibly can obviously it ends up working out very well sen does know the timing we have seen it before so very well played looks like we do reach a minute 27 and that will be the win for Sen there. But he's going to try and go for the longest chase possible. We see a bit of a mind game there, but was seen by Sen as it looks like we go for the Brutzelvok here and is able to make it back towards this filler at bottom. Won't be taking the hit here. You can just make this window towards bottom mid as we do see the mind games once again. Can see the red stain. This is going very, very well. Yeah, Nu really just trying some fancy kind of spin tactics here. Not really working out for him, but obviously being an M1 killer, Sen knows how to play against this, and we've hit the two-minute mark. Will we get to three? Will we get to four? Will we get to five? Who knows? Right, looks like we are heading back towards middle here. We haven't actually used Mania as well. We do have this four wall available to us. Looks like we're opting away from it for a bit of a better palette here. Try to mind games does not end up working on our favor. We see new coming around. Won't be giving the vault here. We'll be taking the vault. Oh, we won't be receiving the hit. It was very close, but we'll not be receiving the hit. This allows us to get to uh, the top here as we reach main. Do have a side window here that is currently good for us, but this door will be yet yeah, getting broken as we are actually slowly getting our live back. We're only about nine seconds away from uh, getting back our live. 
Yeah, I'd be very intrigued if uh, he can't get Lythorf a second time. That would be oh. no swinging, no hit. Yeah, this is just a, uh, what they call a Sand Masterclass. Just playing extremely, extremely well. Is able to get away here. Will we see the Vault? No, we won't see the break coming in through from Nu. Is able to keep that resource still up. Seeing if we can chain well. We do have this filler available to us at main. We'll be probably trying to walk a little bit. Seeing if we're getting very, very close to having this live back. Looks like we are able to dodge this hit. And we actually have another filler available to us at top. And we just avoid that one as well. Perfect timing is only about three seconds away from getting live back again. Two seconds, one. Now we're very, very, very close as we go for the insta drop because we're just happy to get this back. And he's about to get it back, absolutely. He's waiting slightly. He has to walk for what? A little bit more, like and then he's got life a for a second time, and that could just extend this chase infinitely. And we are pushing the four minute mark without a hit right now. He Ooh. finally has hit four minutes, cast his curse. He Jeez. does have life ready to go. That's exactly right. We do see the mind game coming in from New. Tried to play around uh, the wall there at main, but did end up getting seen. Will let Sen go all the way to bottom. We are reaching four minutes and 17 seconds now. We are getting quite high on the time as we see Sen playing very well. Is able to make it back to Water Tower. Bot is much weaker than it used to be, but still have one filler available to us at uh, five won't be too strong by itself hopefully we're able to chain it with something else but we decided to opt away we're actually heading towards eight here as we try to just stay away from the weaker parts of the map we do have a seawall available to us as well we probably want to use lights to get away here but no oh. we got lithe brains there but still a really strong chase at four minutes and 46 seconds Yeah, no, we, we have a not great palette for us. Uh, this isn't really what we want, but, you know, whatever. We'll be taking the chase. We are four seconds in. Looks like we're just going to try and use it to buy us a little bit extra time. And we actually just do a shack rotation as we decide to leave. We do have a god filler here that we are able to use. And Dan just does not want to deal with it. Breaks it instantly. We do have access to alert. We'll be giving us a tiny bit of information, but nothing really at this point as we are going to probably see the boozle coming in and looks like we're able to get to mid with a little bit of strong distance yeah and you know we did see sen last game with a close to five minute time kind of setting the benchmark for these survivors if you do want to win overall that's kind of what the time you need to get something around a four five three minute mark so let's see what midgey can cook up checking his check spots nicely take that pallet down yeah, and kind of bloodlusting, maybe fake pallet. He did fake pallet, and we'll... oh, he doesn't get the first hit. He oh. swings again for no reason. He's not happy about it. He's angry. He's he's getting he's he's not happy about it. We do see the ball coming through. Oh, looks like we've uh, pre vaulted a little bit. We'll be biting us as we do take a hit here at a minute and twelve seconds. The groans of pain come through but we still have access to shack i believe i don't think we ended up dropping it we just did a rotation so we do have that i would assume that we're going to see a vault coming through from down here obviously doesn't want to let uh midgey back into the map for free no it looks like we are going to be seeing that it does take us a little bit of extra time gives midgey a second or two but nothing too detrimental as we are going to go around the long side there to try and catch midgey now can we make top we can get to top mid i don't know whether we can get all the way to top though Looks like we haven't actually started getting in chase yet. What type of main do we have here? Ooh, looks like we opt to go back for this uh, this short wall here as we're using the checkies. Looks like we see the uh, red stain there. We'll be buying us extra time. We are up to two minutes here, playing very well, Midgey, so far. And we do see alert. This is when alert's going to come in. Very, very useful. Ooh, we're in a little bit of an awkward situation here, but able to get away towards mid. Yeah, he had to run to the four wall, trying to see what he can get up top, but I think this is going to be the end of the run. There's nothing to work with here, and yeah, that's the down there at 2 minutes 20. So, not amazing, I would say, but solid enough that if he, uh, Michi does do well on killer, something he can beat. Now, Starzy, you're probably a great fan of tipping because you love getting tippity two tapped. Is that correct? You know, I'm real sick of your attitude, Looney. 
you know, I think I'll go on by myself. I think I don't need an extra caster. <laughs> I'll let you cook this whole game then. All right, you got it, you got it. All right, so we see Dan going to be using the logs here. Oh, it's a little bit slow on the reactions there. He's able to make distance, though. Doesn't get outplayed. We do. Uh, we are forced to a bit of an awkward pallet here, though. I'm probably going to see Midgey. Oh, God, just go straight through it. Doesn't want to mess around at all. Does not end up working out of favor, though. Dan, really nice on the patience there. Did not do the early vault. Was able to step away. It looks like we will be getting towards this seawall. Only just. It was so close. Midgey is just going for some crazy hits here. Knows that the two minutes is definitely beatable, so he's trying to make sure that he can just get the best time possible by getting a free hit by swinging through everything. And it looks like we do reach a god filler at the top. Dan going to be trying to use the checkies to his advantage. We do see the insta break coming through here. Alert does actually buy us a little bit of extra time. Is able to make this towards a main. He's actually able to make it towards a not good filler, but still he's able to make it towards at least a resource. He does have actually access to life. If he can get a stun or something on Midgey, this could be a really strong play here. If he can actually get away with life, he could have gone for a dumb tech there, but probably not exactly the play. And we are able to make it towards this window here, though. Dan is locked in right now. He's playing super well. Able to make it towards top mid, going towards the center of the map. We are at a minute and 25 seconds. Basically just needs to hold W for the rest of the time. We do see medium vault coming in, but it doesn't matter. Ends up working in our favor. Looks like we see Bam Boozle will be taking the hit, but is able to make it all the way back down towards Shaq, which he knows is still there. He could just pre-drop Shaq and get some good extra time. We're still about 35 seconds out from the win condition, so still could end up going either way here. We do see alert coming through. Midgey heading around the long side there. Is going to try and play Shaq for his life. We're about 23 seconds away. This could be quite close. We slow down a little bit. Don't have access to live anymore. We need to somehow find a filler here, which I do believe we have found one. And we are going to insta drop it. We get the stun here. That's going to be huge as we only have 10 seconds left. No, we only have eight. We are closing in on that win condition. Two minutes and 15 seconds. It looks like we just need to hold W and we are there. We have a window as well to support us. And we are able to walk away with the win. Dan was extremely locked in here. Actually see Midgey mind gaming himself at this tile here. And we are able to also make the mid matchsticks work in our favor as it's in not a terrible spot here. We have had some decent matchsticks today that have worked out in the uh, survivor's favor as we see Midgey heading back around seeing if he can mind game. Dan looks like he has and we will be seeing the down of Dan at 2 minutes and 45 seconds in. How do you reckon I did, Looney? Yeah, you, you did well. You, you seem out of breath though. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Look, buddy, it's, it's not like I was running a marathon, all right? <laughs> <laughs> On the survivor starting off, he's gone the opposite side to pallet. He's chosen alert over windows, starting off with the shack. He's playing nice and safe, seeing what kind of mind games Niji is going to do. They'll spot him out there coming around. He's not going to make the window, so he does have to drop shack. Oh, I thought Dan would have been a bit greedy there. I would have loved to see the greed. Yeah, I do find it interesting that uh, in these rate sets, we have not really seen, seen one player be too greedy about these pallets here. Yeah, no, definitely. Oh, we see the live here coming through. A little bit risky. Does end up working out in our favor. Uh, is able to make it towards the eye filler here. Definitely. And still has access to five as well. So that's something we can actually make it back to. Ooh, looks like we're in a bit of an awkward situation here. Does end up taking the hit, but has a really nice main here, the window on the bot mid side, which does end up favoring the survivor here. But we do see Miji right, right behind Dan here. Going to try and get the quick down as we make it towards this little weak uh, poly here. That's a very, very hard to check spot as we do see the insta break coming here. Wow. Okay. And we are going to head down as we go to a minute 10. We're going to try and use this Ormond tile at three. Yeah, you can link these tiles together to add some time and check spotting very nice from Dan there, but may have got caught out just then. Midgey Mind Gaming and does. Waited a split second too long and does go down at 120. So still a respectful time. there i didn't see too much at least with windows looks like we opt towards the bottom side yep it looks like we will be running bottom 
we want to take the non-pallet side and we do start the chase. We'll be running live once again. Looks like we went straight around the side. Interesting play there. Michi yeah. is able to see it though. Yeah, he's kind of forced to run to this side because as you said, yeah, there's nothing at that seven side that we saw and he doesn't want to use his life this early. So smart choice, just saving it. Come back to the pallet. Maybe use shackle. Oh, right into the locker though. And... uh. Mm -hmm. Bit of mind games happening here. We did see this happen in that last game where Midji just read him very nicely on the trapper. But we'll see how he goes on the uh, the wraith here. He does have to run down to all these pallets that he does have around three, four ish area. Exactly right. Looks like we do have access to light still at this pallet gym. At uh, this story filler here, we'll go straight for the vault. We do see the uncloak coming through. Interestingly enough, zones Midgey back towards the bottom side. We still do have access to Shack. I think we'll be able to beat him there though. Ooh, actually no, we might not. We just don't. And Midgey will be playing greedy. Yeah, he plays greedy, but damn, it does sit there anyway. He doesn't go for the hit through it. Could have made it work, but doesn't. And it looks like we will be reaching a minute and nine seconds. Dan was going for something a bit wacky there. Sadly, didn't end up working out as we try to outplay Midgey from the uh, top side of Shaq, but does not end up working out. Yeah, Dan trying some very whack mind games going all the way around Shaq there, and he may get the first hit. He's read the inside vault, but Midgey able to read it. That's on the outside. The window is blocked though now with Bamboozle, and I do think the first hit is going to happen here. One minute 40, which I do believe means he has won his set, but we'll see how long he can get in this chase. Yeah, no, that's definitely right. Probably going for a above two minute chase here. Ideally, we do go for the slow vault. And this side wall here looks like we are forced in a little bit of an awkward position. Don't think we're going to be able to get away from this. We are, though. We do make it back towards the vault here. Will be helping us drag this chase a little bit longer. 205 currently playing very, very well. Miji is able to chain towards the C wall at 7 uh, 8 here, seeing if we can just last as long as we possibly can. Trying to use the checkies to just take this chase as long as we can. We do see the red stain coming around. Does get the miss here. Miji might be able to go for a vault, but it's starting to look like it's getting a little bit tight as we are able to make it back towards this filler at 9. Yeah, two swings. The killer is allowed to run unrelenting if they want, but most of them choose, obviously. Bam. It's unrelenting. Really just isn't worth it. Midgey playing out of his mind here, knowing he needs to get into that tiebreaker, which now he's shown. He's just shown, I'm here to play. I'm ready for this tiebreaker, and I reckon I've got it. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I'd, I'd be pretty happy, pretty happy with that balance. But no, no, no balance. So Mitch is probably not going to be using the hill, and we will be starting the chase. And Mitch is just playing it safe, like we have seen every single time, being able to run around this shack. But he's not going to go around the shack. He's actually going to use the filler here. You can see what kind of mind games that Dan is cooking up. Pops to just break it. And we see the alert proc, so we do get a little bit of wall hacks. He's <gasps> vaulted into him. Oh, he's been very lucky. Bit greedy there. Takes his life nice and early to get distance to a safe pallet I'm choosing right now. Yeah, that could have ended up going very, very poorly for Midgey there, but was able to make it to Shaq there. I uh, did have to use a very strong resource uh, quite early, but yeah, did not end up uh, working uh, in our favor too strongly there as we see the alert coming in to give us a little bit of value here. We will be heading around the top side, heading towards 11, see whether we can use this split bust here to our advantage. We can see through the window, so we've got a little bit of uh, oversight with that, but we are oh, hit here. Do have to use some of that speed boost to get over the pallet and trying to get towards bottom here. Yeah, this, yeah, he's, at least he's run to a tile. It's, you know, half decent. Dan trying to play some mind games. Will he bamboozle, will he not? And around, he should be able to maybe get him. No, Midgey playing it absolutely amazing with his check spots. Breathing through the pallet. And getting some more distance around the outside of the tile. It looks like we will be doing a medium vault here. Does not end up working out. We will be taking the down. That will be a minute and 36 seconds. Uh, for Midgey there, a uh, very respectable chase, but it's definitely something that Dan can end up beating.
and he likes Crane. He yeah. spotted Crane over there and he wants to run Crane at some stage. Oh, oh the miss time. We'll start again. Oh. There we go. All right, we're going. Uh, we'll be heading through. So hopefully looking for a minute 40 plus here from Den is able to, as you said, we'll be using Crane. Go for a little bit of a sidestep there from Midgey, but we'll break that straight away. It does buy us a little bit of time. See if we can get some distance. Head back towards Shack even. Maybe do a loop around if we have the time to do it. But we'll be... Ooh, playing a little bit greedy. Does end up working in our favor. There was... Midgey was going for a bit of a bit of a strong swing there. Didn't end up working in our favor. Always good to drop it this side because we do get the most distance possible. We don't want to let Demo get his power uh, usage for free. As we are now up to the 38 seconds. And Shaq goes down, running out to 7 area with a car loop. Let's see all these fillers that he can use. His pre-drops oh. all of them as he goes. Adding to those time. Got just under, what, 30 seconds to go to that victory. Gonna be close. Gets the first hit and a stun. Still hasn't used life, though. So he's waiting to use that life. Being patient around this pallet. Oh, a mistake! That could cost Midgey. Yeah, that's right. We do have this uh, window here as well. We do see the uh, vault coming in through from Midgey here. Looks like we're at a minute 19. It's going to be very, very close here. Do we have anything to our advantage? No, we don't. If we're not able to make it here, we're going to be in an awkward position. It looks like we dodged the hit, but we only have a couple seconds to oh. go. We have to somehow 360 him to this make be this it. work. A minute 30. No. Oh. It was a second away. Oh, that is truly rough. No, no, no. Now, I'm looking forward to the hillbilly set. Uga. Bam Bam, that's going to excite me. But here we go on the Trapper Midgey Survivor. First up, let's see what he can cook. It looks like we're opting to use the Water Tower to get some free 20 seconds here. We are at 15. Back towards Shaki. We do have Lion available to us. Goes for the Fast Vault. Is going for a little bit of a wacky sidestep there. Forces him around the backside. Looks like we do have access once again to the window. We do get a bit mind gamed here, but we have opted to step away towards the pallet. And now we can go back towards the mid. We are in a very strong position here as Midgey does have a, another good jungle gym here as well with the long wall able to use that very effectively we can use it to get a little bit closer to mid but looks like we do oh we almost see the bamboozle vault coming through looks like we're trying to see miji but he was waiting for it he was ready we see the double vault come through as well we're gonna be heading around the long side looks like we go for a bit of a wacky play there as we see the triple vault and we see miji will be dropping this sea wall is injured going to make things much more difficult as we head back up towards top and we are going to see if we can have a decent top here. It looks like it's not the best for us as we try to just drag this chase out as long as possible. We do use this uh, window here to get back towards the middle. I don't know if you saw there where he vaulted, or sorry, where he fell off the edge of that main building. That would have been perfect balanced landing. Value. <laughs> but it's once true. again, he's not running it. Sen, if you're listening, when your time has come, we want to see it. Is he playing out standing here? We're pushing up to 140, maybe pushing up to two minutes. Playing around these pallets. I think Sen's going to get a little bit of blood last on Midgey, opting not to kick this. Sen is playing very nice with the double backs, but Midgey's check spotting is outstanding right now. Just standing still, Tech. Yeah, now Midgey can opt to move as well as we do have uh, Bloodless completely gone. He's bought a lot of time at this little filly here. We're actually able to make it back towards uh, middle here as we take the Bamboozle Vault. Midgey able to make a lot of distance. We have a really strong filly here as well. Can we make it? No, we're not going to be able to as we will Yay. be going down at 218. towards the bottom here we'll be doing a quick rg check bottom mid a little bit weak but hopefully we're able to just kind of get back up towards top do we have the pallet on our side no it's on the uh further south side but we do head towards water tower here we'll be doing the same thing as midget did last round just getting some free 
water tower value as we head straight back towards the filly here at uh, bottom as we do have that that leads straight into Shaq as well trying to outplay uh, Sen here as well trying to push him towards the awkward side of the map trying to zone him away as we don't want to let him get back towards Shaq and we'll be seeing the break come through very soon there it is do get alert value won't be giving us too much value here but we'll be able to make our way back towards shack probably we could just make this maybe but we decide to opt away from it and we will be heading towards the side of the map instead yeah, and he's used his life nice and early but playing those check spots very nice and we did see send triple vault a window like this last time it's midgy just playing safe deciding to just walk around the tile Sand just using those check spots very nicely and Midgey just opting to break it and Sand will be able to push all the way now to Shaq. Yeah, that's exactly right. You don't have to play around this too uh, effectively. You could opt to just break this and leave, getting some free distance. But no, we are going to try and play one rotation around it. See if we can get some stronger value. Looks like we are going to get exactly that. We will be able to make it to the shack here. And that is very nice. That will buy us an extra 15 seconds. They will be making it back up towards mid. We'll be seeing the alert value come through. Allows us to go the long side of the water tower here. We do see Midgey coming around our side as we decide to head towards these matchsticks. We'll be able to make this vault, but we opt away. We want to go back up towards top. We have not used top yet at all. We'll be huge value if we're able to make it all the way up. And yeah, there's the standstill mind game here by Sen working a charm and still not being able to get hit. Oh, it's like he's got resilience when he's healthy. Doesn't get that swing. Iggy's going to have to break that. And that two-minute timer has ticked on by with no hit just yet. Exactly right. We only have eight seconds till the wincon comes through. And we will be seeing Sen walk out with the win here. Very well played. Still uninjured as well. Was able to just completely avoid the hit. And we are slowly getting our life back. Whether we get it back or not, uh, unsure. As we are only about 12, 13 seconds away. But... Yeah, very well played as we head towards this Mormon tile here. Yeah, seeing if we can just run past it. We don't even want to deal with it. We just want logs. We're done. We are moving away. Sen playing very, very well here. And it looks like we are going to be making it towards the filler at main. And we opt away from it for another filler. He's a greedy boy, that's for sure. You can tell that he is 1v1 on this map quite a bit. And I think the first hit is going to come in as it gets to that pallet. Yes, it does. And we do see he's still got that main building to work with, but that bamboozle should come in, lock it out, and now Sen just has these kind of top pallets to kind of play around. See how much more time he can add to this. Yeah, he's just playing extremely well. Three minutes, 12 seconds. Has taken the hit, but still will be able to make it to this filler at uh, 10 here, I believe. And it looks like we get the stun as well at this god filler. Unlikely we will be giving a hit, but we will see. It looks like we're trying to outplay with the mind games, trying to go a bit wacky. We do see him, and we see the alert come through as well, letting us know that he's kicked it a little bit early. Gives us the reaction times to get away. And we do make it towards this filler that leads into the hill. So it's getting a little bit dead here. Uh, the map is getting very, very weak. Looks like we'll be taking another hit. Midgey just opting to get rid of these resources. We have this as well. We can chuck this down for main, but we opt not to. And we are trying to get our life back, but it is not working out for us just yet. If we use lithe, uh, use that filly here, we might have been able to get it back, but might even be able to make it work here with a couple of walks. Oh, we got it back, though. Yeah, <laughs> it's his second time he's got life back in these chases so he just knows how to just walk around and just work out what he can do and now we're pushing at four minutes now will he beat that four minutes 40 that he got last time i hit that five minute mark will midgey let him get to five minutes who knows oh, oh hit through the pallets no 429 it wasn't five minutes unfortunately but he does take that set win quite harder but it looks like we will be taking our chase here Midgey doesn't seem to be ready possibly getting his own time already and it looks like we are going chase has started it looks like we are going to try and head up towards five uh it looks like we have seen that four is pretty weak here 
was the idea of actually heading back up, but we're not really going to be able to make that work anymore. As, ooh, seems like Midgey is run. Now Tail here goes for a vault, actually. Decides to go for the Bamboozle. We are able to keep him away. He isn't able to block us here. Oh, wow, he actually does get past us. That is rough for Sen. He will be taking quite an early hit. 27 seconds in, and it looks like we are being able to make it back towards Shaq. Going to try and buy us some time. We need to somehow get towards middle, but we only have an eye filler. This is not good RNG. This is not what you want at all we our bottom mid was so weak and the problem is our middle isn't very strong either we are able to just get around Michi here really well played does still have access to life needs to somehow get towards a safer location is able to make it towards two finally able to actually get to a filler here and it looks like we can try and drag this chase out as long as possible we go for our vault text but doesn't end up buying us too much time besides of two seconds here and we'll be seeing the Bamboozle come through here, and it's a little bit greedy, actually. He's been a very greedy boy, as we know that Sen can be, and does get all the way back around. And he's still greeting it, even though he's injured. He's playing for that value. And we're going to see that Wraith probably fault here with that Bamboozle. Yeah, we do see that. And Sen will run straight back to that pallet, and now he probably will put it down. Yeah, he does. Just playing safe now. He'll be able to run to that main pallet, and we did see... I think it was, it was Sen the first quarterfinal match where he absolutely juiced around this pallet and into main with that crazy window vaulting. That is correct, but this pallet is much, much weaker. So we weren't able to get a stun there. Looks like we will be seeing the down come through as there are no fillers here to really help us get anywhere. And that will be the down coming in at a minute 50 sticks. Uh, still a very respectable time, but not enough uh, to keep the chase going. All right, yeah, you got me. You got me. I love tipping, all right? Yeah, tipping's a big part of it. But it looks yeah. like we see Midgey heading towards top. We do have a lure. We opted once again for live as well. Definitely the right play on this map. We do have the God Filler available to us. We opt away uh, for 7-8 instead. Looks like we are going to try and outplay him. You get the stun um, here. Very, very well played as we decide to try and keep this chase going as long as we possibly can. We are looking for that minute 57 time, and we're actually getting very strong slow vault value here and yeah that was definitely the right call we're using live to get back towards the god filler and we are screened away a little bit but still we can make this and that's exactly what we do drop the god filler straight away this filler at seven is still up as well so this jungle gym at seven eight is still up as well go for the slow vault 46 seconds in and we are able to actually step away towards another god filler at nine and Nichi being very greedy, able to get to another pallet here, does throw it down. Sen maybe building up that bloodlust, but he's able to kind of connect it back to another pallet here. We do know that pallet is still down over there. They get the swing hit. No, he doesn't! Amazing, this could be it. This could put a lot of pressure on Sen right now. That's exactly right. This is looking very, very close. We do see the uncloak happening as we try and make this vault near eight. Trying to just absolutely god use this filler. We have got a lot of value from it. Looks like Sen does decide to break it. We are reaching a minute 56 very, very soon as we are only about 25 seconds away from the wing con. Michi playing very, very well at this uh, god filler here. He's had a strong setup on the right side that he's just been able to use super effectively and he knows his checkies. He's not going to be making any panic vaults there. There. have to break that that's exactly right and it looks like we are going to be making this win very very confidently as we reach a minute 56 and we still have not been injured yeah that is going to be uh the win for midgey and he's just going to now show off his skills oh and faking the window adding time but send one and a half reading it now midgey greeting the other pallets sending it around Midgey playing absolutely out of his mind right now. No, that's exactly right. Looks like we do have our main as well. We are just able to make main. Didn't go for the slow vault there. Wanted to just make sure that he could actually secure any vault at all. And it is able to make it towards this car filler on the side. Anticipated the insta vault. Uh, sorry, the insta hit, but did not end up occurring. Sen was a little bit more prepared than that. It looks like we do go for the vault here. We go for two. And it looks like we will be able to use the right side of the map. But we opt to not to as we head down towards 
towards the filler in middle, seeing if we can drag this chase out to three minutes, which is definitely possible. Heading around the long side of the filler, trying to just drag out as much time as possible. It looks like we have a strong bolt there, and we reach three minutes. Yeah, wow. Well, Midji absolutely destroying this chase right now, and finally does go down at 3.06, but that will tie it up at one apiece heading into the tiebreaker of Demogorgon on Wrecker's Yard, which I'm excited for. First, he wants to be able to pull out the win here, and we see the... Uh, oh, we do see the no teabag, but we saw the star. Yeah, the no ready for it. Bit cheeky there by Midji, trying to get those extra seconds, I guess. <laughs> we do see uh, the alert value coming in a little bit here. He's able to make it back towards Shaq, seeing we can just use this map as effectively as possible before we start getting rid of these resources, and we actually opt to drop Shaq as well. Yeah, he's trying to head over to nine here. What kind of tiles are you working with? Oh, he does take the first hit, though. That's not good. He's going to play around this tile. He does have life still in his back pocket, though. Same with some crazy mind games. Pallet's broken. What does Midji still have? He's still got another car pallet here. Over at seven. He has to run over here to mid six. Going around the car. He do still have life, but I don't know if he can use it if, unless he has a window somewhere. This could be the end. That is the end. 55 seconds. Yeah, wow, that was uh, definitely not the chase that Muji was looking for there. Uh, sadly, it was just not even able to use life as well. Just a very, very rough situation to be in. But yeah, it looks like Sen definitely uh, set a very, very strong chase there. We'll be doing a quick RNG check as we want to start probably the non pallet side here. As if we can get even 20 seconds, 15 seconds out of Shaq. We're, we're pretty much in for the win. And I do see a really nice hill there that could have been utilized with balanced, but Sen <laughs> obviously hasn't been listening and it's just going to use life for that victory. Yeah, very well played here by Sen, just being able to buy as much time as he possibly can. This is just going exactly how he wants to. He hasn't given a hit, but 26 seconds in, playing very, very well. Just needs to drop this fill and he's fine. And that's exactly what he does. Now he's got access to the outside of the map as well. And it looks like we actually saw a uh, mistake there by Midji. He ended up missing the pallet when he was trying to go for the down, but did not get the shred off for 46 seconds. And it's looking very, very difficult uh, for the win to occur. It goes straight over him and gives it Sen the win. What was that? Yeah, I'm not sure, but... Oh, and he swings and misses. He's probably just frustrated with himself. Oh, not another one. He's probably frustrated with himself now. That And a third one. Make it four. Make it five. How many? There's four. Okay. Can we make it five? I think he's just he's just having fun now. He finally does get him with that beautiful midgy net. Yeah, sadly, I uh, know exactly what Midgey was looking for, but it looks like we will be taking the chase back towards six. Sen has secured the win. 2-1 in the grand final as well as able to walk out with a win over Midgey. Very, very well played. Is the DBO 1v1 tournament winner here for April. Extremely well done. Was the number one seed and was also the number one player. Very well done to Sen. Uh, extremely, extremely well played and we'll be walking out with the $50 prize. Just very well played. The chases today have been phenomenal. Multiple four minute plus chases. Yeah, and Zen probably getting to 155 there to end up winning it. So congratulations, Sen, our number one player for April. Absolutely well done, though, to all of our eight competitors. It was absolutely phenomenal being able to cast all these games because they were outstanding. No, that's exactly right. And we'll play to all the others as well who gave the 1v1 letter a go. Everyone, get into it because it is good fun. Um, there are a lot of opportunities to get better and to also just get onto the top eight for the tourney, which is uh, very good. So if you would like to be in the next tournament, make sure to do your 1v1 ladders so you can get up the top. But regardless, uh, that will be us finishing. Uh, thank you, everyone, for popping in. Hope everyone has a good night. And we will be seeing you tomorrow.